Hello, this is Arsteen Owen. This is going to be a tutorial on how to mask in GIMP 2.0, which is a free image editing software which can be downloaded anywhere. Alright, what, what you need to do this is a base image which has no subject in the foreground which you want to mask, and then another image which is the same as the previous one but with the subject in the foreground with a rig holding it up to making it look like it's flying. This ma masking is the process of hiding what is holding up the thing that is flying. To do this, you go File, Open. What you need to do is open the base image, which has no minifigure in it. Just there. Click Open. Alright, as you can see, there's no minifigure. Or something that's flying. Right, what you need to do here is you go file, open as layers, and then find the image that you want to be masked and select it, and then click open. Right, as you can see, the minifigure is flying, but the rig is holding it up, so we'd want to rub that out. To do that, you go on the rubber tool, which is here, select that, make it a bit bigger by going on the scale so we can rub it out easier and then rub out the rig as you can see the image behind it is replacing the image in front so it looks like the minifigure is flying right you want to zoom in by going to zoom in so you can get the more tedious places rub that out careful Right, that's that done. Then zoom out. Now it looks like the minifigure is flying. Just make sure there's nothing left over. If the minifigure has shadows, make sure that you do not rub these out, otherwise it'll look quite unrealistic. Right, you want to do this for every single image. After you've finished making one, you go on to Save As. Select where you want it to go. Name the image. And then select the file type. Probably best off making it a PNG because it's a higher quality. And click save. Right, you want to merge the visible layers and then export. Here, you want to put compression level to zero. Then it won't be compressed much, so it'll stay it'll stay quite high quality. However, the image size will be quite large. And then click save. Right saved and then you want to do this for every single image that you want masked right that's my tutorial thanks for watching